Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. My apologies for being a bit absent for the past month. I've had some life changes and have recently become a grandfather. Join me in welcoming baby August to the Reaper family. In one of my previous videos, I showed how I prefer to use volume knobs instead of volume handles on media items for controlling clip gain, item gain, whatever you'd like to call it. The concept being that Reaper gives you a few different options for controlling the volume before it hits the faders and the effects. Using item gain is a great way to ensure that your plugins are receiving the optimal level. On that same video, a viewer recently commented with a question. Riffs from the Abyss 666 asks, How do you split the item so you can adjust the volume knob? In my answer to that question, I explained how to split the item to get multiple volume knobs across the item, but in today's video, I'd like to show you a much more granular option for controlling the volume that your media items feed your plugins before they hit the fader. Let's take a look. This project is a song concept by Discord member Allfather, who recently asked me to provide some live drums for the idea. This being simply an idea and a rough sketch, this is not mixed and it is not final. I'll play back a small portion to let you hear work in progress. I like the vibe and the direction that the song is going, and I'm looking forward to continuing to work with Allfather to complete this project. For the sake of the lesson, let's take a look at track number 9, which is my snare top. I'll expand the track for better visibility, which did little to nothing. And in the upper left corner of the media item, we can see a volume knob. This knob is not turned on by default. The default behavior in Reaper is for each media item to have a volume handle at the top. If I move my cursor over the top edge of the media item, we see it changes to an arrow, and I can left click and drag to bring down the volume of the media item. And as I drag this volume down, we can see the wave visually decreasing. I'll drag that back up to the top. And once I'm at the top, I can't increase the volume of this item any further than zero dB. Where the volume item comes into play is if I've got a source that's too quiet that I need to increase, and I can take this knob and turn it up or down as much as I'd like. If you'd like to enable item volume knobs, go to Options, Preferences, Media, and under the Media Item button section, Enable Volume Knob. We can also see at the bottom of this dialog the item volume handle, and the default is 0 dB is top of item. We have a few other options here, and changing it to 0 dB is center of item will allow you to turn the waveform up or down as well. Or you can completely disable the item volume handle. For whatever reason, I like having both options with 0dB at the top of the item. We'll close this dialog and go back to the project. And to clearly answer Riffs from the Abyss 666's question, if I would like to have more volume knobs per item, I can split the item, and every new item created from splitting will have its own volume knob. I'll disable my grouping and demonstrate. So with my snare top selected, I can move my cursor wherever I'd like, press S to split, and we can see that my preceding and following media items each have their own volume knob, and I can operate them independent of each other. Let's undo that. And now we've restored this to one single item. What I'd like to show you today is the volume pre-effects envelope, or envelope, or however you say that. This envelope is done at the track level, so I can access it by clicking the trim button in the track control panel for the desired track. And from the resulting menu, I'll select Volume Pre-Effects and toggle the check mark to the left. We'll close our envelope dialog. And we can now see that we have a Volume Pre-Effects envelope beneath the media item. I can freehand draw on this envelope by holding Control on the PC or Command on the Mac and left clicking and dragging. You'll notice as I draw, the waveform is visually affected. This gives us the same result as using the item volume knob, except we can control it at any point along the media item without having to split the item. The media item volume knob is a global parameter for that media item, whereas the envelope allows you to control the volume of individual hits if you'd like. 
One thing that I don't like about the Pre-FX volume envelope is that by default I can only increase the waveform by 6 dB. But as with most things in Reaper, this is customizable. So let's go back to Options, Preferences, and under the Editing Behavior section, click Envelope Display. At the top of the Envelope Display and Editing dialog, notice the first entry, Volume Envelope Range, and the default setting is minus infinity to plus 6 dB. Clicking the drop-down gives us a few other options. Minus infinity to plus 0 dB only allows us to turn down an item. We've already seen the results of minus infinity to plus 6 dB, and we can increase that upper limit to either 12 dB or 24 dB. My preference is minus infinity to plus 12 dB. I'll select that option and apply. And you can see that my envelope has already shifted down a bit to give me more room to turn up that item if I'd like. We'll press OK. And let's clear this envelope and start again. I'll click the dialog to the right of the track name and choose Clear Envelope. And that prompts us with a message that says that all envelope points will be deleted. Would you also like to remove the envelope completely? In this case, I do not, so I'll click No, and my default envelope is still there. If my intention were to make all of my snare hits the same relative volume before they hit compression or any other effects on the chain, I can hold Control on my keyboard, and let's take a look at this particular snare hit. If I'd like to make that more even with the one to the left, once again holding Control, I'll draw my envelope and watch that waveform change. We can see we've turned it down, but that's just a little bit too much, so if I'd like to overwrite that, I can simply hold Control and draw the envelope again. And with a little bit of trial and error, you can get this to whatever effect that you desire. There's not necessarily a right or wrong, this just gives you another option for much more granular control over your media item volumes before they hit your effects chain. I hope this helps. Reaper is infinitely customizable, and there's almost always more than one way to do any particular job. The trick is finding the one that best suits your workflow. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like this video, share, and subscribe, and you can support the channel by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link or Super Thanks links below. Check out my drum editing and Reaper course on ProMix Academy, and if you'd like to see me edit the drums for the project you just heard, drop a comment below and let's see if we can schedule a live stream. Visit us on Discord and engage with other Reaper users. We'll see you next time. Give me a hug, I missed you guys.